Iga Swiatek has been the new number one on the WTA tour for about two weeks now. And the more I'm watching her, the more I'm in awe of her athleticism, which I think is the biggest strength that not enough people appreciate. And I'm gonna take a little bit of a different approach with my video today. I'm going to look at her forehand, and yes, we're going through the technical pieces of it, but I want to use her forehand to highlight that she's basically never out of position with different court positioning, with different footwork patterns, with different recovery, with different finishes and swings. She adjusts to anything that's coming her way. And not only does she adjust to anything that's coming her way, she's able to produce high class, high quality shots every single time. And that's really hard to beat. I'm giving a shout out to Slow Mo Tennis Pro and the link to their channel is down below in the description. But now let's get going with Iga Swiatek's forehand and the many things that go into her forehand that you can also use for your forehand. First things first, in a stroke analysis, the grip. And what you're seeing here, Iga Swiatek has a pretty extreme grip. She is in a full Western grip. So the underside of her index finger knuckle and the heel pad are completely under the racket. An Eastern grip would have these two key marks on bevel number three on this broader side of the racket. A semi-Western grip would be on bevel four and she is completely under the racket here. Your grip decides what kind of swing shape you have and also where your contact point is gonna be. So with Iga's grip, somebody with a full Western grip, they tend to have very compact swing shapes, meaning that there is no full extension. So she has her elbow bent here, and as she's making contact, you see that there's a clear bend in her elbow. Also, the contact points does not tend to be as far out in front. It is still out in front, and her finish then is over her shoulder or over her biceps. Always realizing the grip demands the swing shape and the contact point. Other components of the Iga Swiatek forehand are left hand, of course, is on the throat of the racket, facilitates the unit turn here. And what you do want to pay attention to is, and that is one of the reasons why she's generating so much topspin, not only her grip, but also how her racket is positioned on the take back. So you see that here, the side with which she's gonna hit is pointing forward here, pointing to us, points all the way back. And then when she gets into her racket drop right here, it's pointing almost entirely down. So when she's bringing the racket up to contact point, you see that the racket face is still closed. She's coming under the ball here with the racket face. Racket face is also below her wrist, but when she's making contact, her racket is slightly. And that is really the trademark of topspin forehands here. Follow through, see how her forearm rolls over, the ball continues to follow through, and then she finishes over her biceps. So those are the technical components. Let's look at her footwork. So if I'm letting this run, You'll notice that Iga Swiatek uses all three stances. So a close stance right here. What is usually what people call a more classic stance or something that doesn't exist in pro tennis anymore. And to me, with all due respect, that's complete baloney because the benefit of this position here, you see how she's loading off her back leg. She can transfer her entire body weight forward and into the shot. The close stance is still very much in the repertoire of top players, and it should be in your repertoire. So as she's approaching the ball, you notice that she takes smaller steps because she doesn't have to run as far. So she's completely balanced. She's coming from behind the ball and she can move forward. So that is when you use your close stance. In the next ball, you'll see her choosing the semi-open stance because the ball is coming a lot deeper and she has to actually move back a little bit. And that is again where she loads her outside leg 
and this is your semi-open stance and that allows her to still stay balanced you notice that here her head is still balanced looks a little bit as if she's falling off the ball she's hitting it off the back foot but those are two different things she's still very much balanced and you see how she lifts up here and this is one of the different finishes that she's choosing and we'll go into that a little bit more in a minute now on a ball where she has to move a lot more laterally she's choosing an open stance so you see her here with a crossover and her feet are parallel to the baseline so that's your open stance when you have more of a ways to go laterally that is how you adjust to those balls so all three stances are in use at all times but at all times Iga is really trying to get her body weight into the ball and you see her nicely how again she loads her outside leg and then lifts up to the ball making contact still within her strike zone between shoulder and hip so using all different stances to adjust to different incoming balls. Now worried about her court positioning. One thing is that I would urge everybody to check what they do on the court. You see here, she's fairly far back behind the court. So this is at least two yards. And what I see a lot of rec players do is they insist on staying very close to the baseline. And that is when they get in all kinds of trouble. And what the difference between a slightly deeper court position is and a more hugging of the baseline position is that you have more chances to actually have an angle with which you're coming up to the ball. So you see here, it is a, an open stance, but there is a clear direction moving towards the ball. And then when she has the chance, again, moving into the ball. And here we see another example of Iga Swiatek's athleticism. Extremely wide ball. Notice the grip change into a continental grip. And we're having a slice, almost a slap shot. But that is how she gets two balls and gets another ball back into the court. And that's really difficult to beat. One more forehand here. We're out of a deeper court position even though she's being pulled wide she has the ability to come at the ball with an angle and that just allows for much better control and also power of course and this is one of the little details here you see that she's taking three steps to come from her bisector of an angle position there in cross court forehand rallies here so coming onto the ground from her split step and you see how her right foot already sets out. One step, one huge crossover, and then she is behind the ball, behind the alley. And this is an open stance, and then she uses a mogul step to catch her body weight here. And a mogul step is where you're not planting your inside foot anymore, but you're basically having a hop on your outside foot to catch your spillover energy if you will and then immediately also push back into the court and you see that here she's using a back crossover so those are really trademarks of exceptional footwork and that is what Iga Swiatek has now let's talk about different finishes depending on what kind of ball she's getting depending on what she wants to do with the ball there are different finishes so here's the Iga Swiatek buggy whip All right she's coming at the ball more extremely it's coming at her a little bit faster a little bit closer and for her to make contact she has to come up very steeply and if you have that beginning of your swing shape more steeply you're not all of a sudden going to extend forward so that's why she finishes with that buggy whip over her head and then we saw this shot before that's just another weapon get the ball give one more ball back and the opportunity to your opponent to mess it up 
And then of course we have the more quote unquote normal follow throughs over your shoulder or over the biceps, which is what happens with Igashmi Antek a little bit more. But still, regardless of finish, you see how she, as she's falling through here, the side with which she hit the ball is facing to the outside. So a lot of different finishes in different styles. But let's go back to the very beginning. Iga Swiatek's forehand is technically superb. It has all the key features that a great forehand has to have. From good coil to excellent take back, racket face pointing down, racket head gets under the wrist, cocking position here, meaning that the butt cap points to the ball and then acceleration to contact point and then finish. And Iga Swiatek is able to replicate that great technique with her athleticism.